Okay, we're just messing around in FL Studio here. We're not doing anything special. Um, I want to show people how to liven up their beats. This is a kick drum we have here. This is a solo kick drum. This is a this is a mid bass. This is a running bass. Um, what else do we have here? We have a buzz bass, which is this. We have some other weird sounds put in here. Um, this is a pitcher effect where the pitch goes up. do we have here so we have a lot of other sounds that we made changing the time and velocity of the notes like this time shuffle perk you can see that the perk starts off quick um, the timing is quick and then we slow it down and the velocity starts off loud and then it fades out. And these are two changes we simply made to the timing and velocity. And this is what this sounds like. Now, to make your sound sound live and dynamic, um, a, lot, a lot of this is about articulation and how you articulate your sounds. And what I mean is every time you open up FL Studio, you're gonna have the piano roll over here. And a lot of people just write in notes like, that are so simple and basic, like this. And it's not that you can't make good music, you know, doing really basic notes like that, but if you really wanna step up your game, you have to learn how to really you have to see in your head how different speeds sound in your ears and how something like this creates a lot of tension in a track. And if I were to just place them on beat and have it fading out, it would be pretty boring. So one thing I do to add dynamics to my sound is I, I do a lot of stuff where I change the timing and the velocity. Um, so what else do we have here? All right, let's uh, let's play the intro of this track. Okay, that's the first nine bars. This is the second nine bars. Okay, and by the way, I'm saying nine bars, I mean eight bars, duh. Um, <clears throat> 18 bars total, so we play the first 18 bars. Uh, did I say 18? Jesus, my math is terrible tonight. I'm, I'm tired. Excuse me for being tired while making this video. Uh, 16 bars. Duh. But uh, the point is not the bars. The point is, so like, this is how you mix sounds. 
and it doesn't matter what you think you know about music, but a lot of a lot of making beats in FL stu Studio is about how you structure your sounds and how you mix things together, um, and you know how to get that push pull effect. So let let me play the whole song now, and wait. Hold on. My mouse is, I'm working on a wireless mouse here and sometimes it just slips when I'm trying to work, but okay, let's go. Let's play this song. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, and this is where the main lead starts. So this is what the lead sounds like. And the way I love to do my leads in FL Studio is I love sound fonts. Um, because you can, you can buy a lot of good sound fonts or you can make them yourself by layering sounds and then you save them as sound fonts. And using sound fonts is an unbelievable way to layer tons of sounds without slowing down your computer and if you have enough memory it's it's just i just it's hard to get really hard hitting sounds without um doing it any other way you you can layer vsts with the sound fonts but the sound fonts that i use those are my really punchy thick um analog sounds that come from good instruments that i've collected and i can help people find sounds if they need but um I'm focusing on scoring in FL Studio, how to score, which is how to place notes into the piano roll, how to make the notes sound live and realistic, and then how to mix, mix everything together in a track in a way that sounds, you know, somewhat professional. My music isn't, you know, I don't know what to say about my music, but um, like I, I use a lot of distortion. Um, sometimes way too much distortion, but let's let's get to the lead here. So this is the lead and I, I use a layer here. I use a dashboard um, I have a few different sound fonts. So let's play this and I'm gonna slide the um, the low pass filter open <laughs> One one second so uh, let's try that again. Here, okay, here we go. Ready? That's one version of the lead and then I just so I layer the leads together and then I will typically clone a beat and then just change it so I clone the lead and then I just changed it around a bit and I did that over and over to create you know it's, it's really not hard you just clone the lead and then just change the notes around so you have a different version of the lead and that will change you know from every 8 16 bars you, you could just change things up and it adds a lot of different dynamics in your music but this is the, this version <laughs> and i'm playing around with the slider um as i'm recording this this isn't automated um everything else is pretty much automated but i didn't automate this slider yet so i'm, I'm going to do this manually I'm going to play the main lead.
Okay, so that's the song I'm working on right now. And I'm going to do uh, more videos in the future where I'm going to show people how I mix my beats and why I do things the way I do. And I'm also going to score um, scores in the piano roll. And I save a lot of my best scores. And so let me show you. Um, so these are my really, these are all custom made FL Studio scores that I make myself. And I have all my really complex stuff here, like, um, you know, time shuffle here. I, I, you know, just stupid names that I throw on them and you can just drag them into the piano roll and you could get all kinds of different sounds by doing this. And, um, it's good to have all this stuff saved. Because uh, you don't want to these these specific scores that have this timing that changes. This takes a lot of time to create these scores. Um, you have to sit down, and the way I do it is to I manually have to eyeball all this. And I've thought about like drawing a graph um, on paper or using some different way to get like perfect, you know, diff. I don't know what you would call that differentiation between the timing, like. This is, I have to look at this and just place it a little bit further, a little bit further away, a little bit further away, a little bit further away, a little bit further away. And um, it, it takes a lot of time to manually click these kinds of scores, but they make your music sound really good when you do it. So um, make scores, save them, or buy them from me because I'll be selling some of my best scores and I'll be doing it for cheap. And you can help me buy. Um, I don't know, things to make more tutorials with if you like this stuff. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Bye-bye.